Hi, today I'm going to be continuing with the component level motherboard repair video series. One thing to know if you're new to the channel, this is not the video you should start at because I am moving a little bit quickly as I am trying to catch up after getting back from practical board repair school. I've been away for a week, which means I have a lot of work to do, which means I'm not really going to be going through every single step with the schematic on the screen. I am going to be skipping through. So if you are not familiar with this video series already, watch the older videos in the series if you want to learn board repair. Probably not this one. So the first thing I do is I go to see if I have a green light in the charger when I plug the charger in and I don't have a green light. Now, one of the things that I look for is that there is 3.42 volts on PP3V42. When I go to measure for PP3V42 on this board, I get zero volts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for a short to ground. So when I check for a short to ground, I'm in diode mode, red probe on ground, black probe on PP3V42, I get zero volts zero volt drop, which means that there is no voltage drop between my power rail and ground, which is bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the inductor that sits between the PP3V42 power supply and the board. I want to see what side my short circuit is on. So I have to wait for this thing to heat up anyway, so even if I wanted to move really fast here, there's not I, I got to wait for this to heat up. So since I'm going to wait for it to heat up, I might as well show you what it is I'm, I'm removing here. So I'm removing... L6995. All right, so this is what I'm going to be removing. Good open broadcaster. Make sure you're still... All right. So this is PP3V42 underscore G3 hot power supply. Now this is where PP3V42 is being created, and this is where it's sending it to the machine. Is it this side that's shorted or this side that's shorted? Is it the machine side where all the components being powered by PP3V42 are shorted or is it the chip that's creating it? I don't know. So I'm going to remove this and then we're going to see. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to isolate the cause of the, of the fault. Think of it like you got two kids that are really misbehaving, right? So you got two kids that are misbehaving and they're screaming and they're bitching and shit's getting knocked down in the room. One way to figure out which kid's at fault because kids never admit which one is actually the one doing the, the stuff that's wrong it would be to put the kids into separate rooms. So you put each kid into a separate room, and then you, you observe and see what's going on. So if it, you walk in a, one room, and you see that the kid is, is sitting down, everything's there the way it's supposed to, and acting nice, and you walk in the other room, and everything's knocked over and broken, and the kid is screaming, then you'll, you'll, you'll kind of get an idea which kid probably started it. Same thing here. I really don't know which side the short is on. So just to narrow things down a little bit, I'm going to remove the coil and the coil flew away, but luckily I caught it. So let's see what side the short is on. So I'm going to check on both sides. Now, if it's on the left side, that means it's the creating, creation of PP3V42 that's shorted. That's not shorted at all. Yeah, good measurement. And the system side is 0, 0.000 voltage drop, which means that there is a short to ground on the system side. Now, the way that I'm gonna find that is I'm going to solder a wire from my power supply to where 3.42 volts is supposed to show up on the board, right there. And I'm going to side of the ground of the power supply to my screw hole. Now what's going to happen here is whatever component is shorting my PP3V42 to ground is going to get really, really hot. Really boiling hot. And that's going to make it easy for me to figure out which one it is. So, yeah. That's just standard, you know, wire that I cut out of an Ethernet patch cord. Nothing special here. Just tin the wire so it sticks better. So the board pad has been tinned and now the wire has been tinned. It doesn't have to be the greatest solder joint in the world. It's not like this is permanent work. This is just for testing only. But it's a bitch if it falls off, so. All right, so now that is attached. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to my HP 6542A power supply here. And I'm gonna set the power supply to 3.425 volts and the current as high as it goes. And we're gonna turn it on. And it's putting 0 0.004 amps, which is not a fucking short at all. Man, ah, oh, that's bullshit. Well, let's see if the rest of the machine works. So let's see if this thing will turn on and give me, as Sonny would say, a nice long dong. 
So I'm going to put the RAM in. I'm going to put a speaker on it and a fan. And I'm going to plug it in. We're just going to put PP3V42, then plug it in and see if this works. So PP3V42 is going and plugging it in. I get a green light. I get fan spin. The fan is spinning. And do I get a nice long dong? No dong. But it does turn on. That gives me some hope. Let's see what I get on a screen. This is great. I love this little wireless body pack thing that I got for this mic. I should have gotten this a long time ago. Getting up is so much easier when doing a video, not having an XLR cable drape around everywhere. All right, so I have to get the proper LCD cable out of here. You're not proper. You're burned. All right, so I can walk to the next room with ease. Oh, boy, this is great. I can walk to the next room without having to unplug shit and plug it back in. This is going to be great for my exercise. Okay, I have the proper LCD cable. Turn this off. I'm turning it off from the power supply. Now let's see what I get on the screen if I get anything. So I didn't get a nice long dong, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're done for just yet. Okay, turn it on. Charger, one wire circuit, go, go, go. And it turns on. So it has a brain. This thing has the ability to turn on and work. Which is, you know, again, that, that's good news. The problem here, again, is that there's something keeping PP3v42 from appearing. Now, one of the things that I'm kind of afraid of right now that I really hope didn't happen. What if the short circuit was so minor that I blew it out of the board immediately by just putting 3.42 volts through it? Now, if there's no short, now what I, what's going to happen is this probably some capacitor or something that blew, and I can't see it. Because this board honestly looks perfectly fine. It looks beautiful. It looks like water never touched it. It looks like a knockoff charger never touched it. It looks like its original owner never touched it, which, again, really just kind of worries me. So let's see what happens when I remove the power supply. Let's see if the short circuit is still there. And, you know, again, because when the machine is off, when I don't have the charger plugged in or any of that stuff, it's delivering 0.04 amps, which honestly is not, it's just, it's just not really a short circuit. That, that's nothing. So I'm going to try and measure for a short circuit again. So I'm in diode mode on the multimeter. I have red probe on ground, black probe on PP3V42, and it looks like it went away. I have no idea what the fuck happened. I really have no damn clue. And this is a board that looks pretty good. Nothing really wrong with it. So this is one of those things where I'm going to be checking every single little feature. I mean... Like, how many, can you read all the cycles from the battery? Microphone, does the microphone input work? Webcam, There's like all these stupid little things to make sure that every single little thing works because something may actually wind up not working on here when it leaves. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. But you have to kind of know which ones that's going to be on. And on something where the short magically disappears and you don't even see a poof, and I, I'm serious, the power supply did not draw anything. It wasn't like it spiked for an amp or two amps or three amps for a second and then went away. I mean, it's stuck at 0 0.04 amperage use, which is nothing. Oh, stop doing that. Listen, Coil. Come back here, Mofo. Okay, we're going to twist you in a place in a second. Seriously? Oh, wait. Duh, my air has turned up too high. That's pretty dumb. Stop that. Man, I could use some sleep. 
Here's the thing about teaching. So, after a week of, like, answering questions on board repair, you may want a short break from board repair. But you can't take that break from board repair when you haven't been fixing boards for a week because you, you come back to work at the business that you own where you're the only one that fixes boards. What do you think there's going to be if you are not there for a week? A week's worth of board repair. There's a chance I put this coil on upside down. That would be embarrassing. I really hope I didn't do that. Oh, God. It's never the coil unless the coil is upside down. That would be embarrassing. I'm about as happy as I'm going to get with that. So, same idea, same principle. So I got that on. There's no more power supply in the mix. I'm going to plug the screen and the fan and all the RAM and all that good stuff in, and we're going to see if this thing turns on. So before it had zero green light, it was totally dead, useless, worthless junk. And again, second board today, where I have no clue what I did, but I fixed it. And we get a green light. And we get a fan spin, and we get a bada bing, bada boom, a working machine. So again, microphone circuitry, I gotta go for that, because some of that is powered by PP3V42. Sometimes there are some annoying little caps in the audio circuit that happen to go. That could be what happened here, and it is something that I have to put in the notes to test for. You know, knowing how all this stuff works makes it a lot easier to not look like an idiot. So I've been through this schematic enough times to know that there are annoying things in the PP3V42 line, by the audio circuitry that just for some reason decide to do stupid things for no reason. But this worked. It's finished. I'm happy. Hope you learned something.